Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Lena and I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are. Thank you so much for tuning in and I would like to take a moment to appreciate your lovely comments on my last video. Thank you so much for welcoming me with so much of love after a while, the break I took. And thank you so much for pouring in such kindness into my channel and my work. I was really overwhelmed uh, this morning when I woke up to those beautiful comments on my video. In case I'm not able to reply to your comments personally, I apologize because sometimes there are many and it's not possible for me to individually reply to each one of you. But do consider um, that everything is being appreciated. Thank you so much for your support. I'm back with another reading. Uh, so topic for today's reading is all about your future spouse. We will get specific with all the details, their characteristics, how you will meet, location, um, timing, everything. We'll get as specific as we can. And I'm going to use today matcha tea in order to scry messages. So I recently bought matcha tea for myself because I've never tried this before. And I realized the texture is kind of similar to the Turkish coffee. So I immediately knew that I have to use this for a reading. Uh, and it's a reading on love. So green goes hand in hand with the heart chakra. And the thought behind this reading is that tomorrow, uh, 8th of March, so I'm posting this video on the 7th of March. So tomorrow is Shivratri, which is the occasion when Lord Shiva married Goddess Parvati. So Shiva and Shakti became one. So the thought behind this reading is coming from there. And I wanted to use this occasion or use these energies to scry love messages. So here are the three options in front of you. This will be number one, number two, and number three, okay? Feel free to pause the video in case you need a couple of seconds to choose. If you feel confused, you can use a random number generator on your Google that can help you select a, uh, an option. In case you want to listen to all the three and take what resonates or what you feel more drawn to, that's again your call. So we'll start with group number one, okay? Hello, group number one. This is going to be your reading about your future spouse. I'm trying this for the first time, so I'm not sure what to expect inside the cup. But let's be positive, okay? Oh, wow. This is so beautiful. Hmm. Let's see. I don't know if it's focusing clearly. Uh, but yeah, the shade is a little lighter, but off the camera, I can clearly see. Wow. I see big wings here. Wow. Freedom. I get this feeling that uh, with your spouse, you're going to feel a deep sense of freedom. Oh, this is so interesting. I just now noticed. There are two bubbles <laughs> on your cup that's forming an eight here. <laughs> this is so interesting. Number eight could be something you might see a lot when you're about to meet this person. Eight is also the number of abundance. Or your life path number could be eight or this person's life path number could be eight. Um, you could be heavily governed by Saturn or this person could be heavily governed by Saturn. I'm getting this feeling that, uh, wow, one popped off. Okay, let's keep it on the side now. All right. Uh, I'm getting this feeling you're going to feel a sense of freedom with this person, like a sense of victory, a feed of freedom. See, I see a big V here as well. Hmm, this is interesting. I'm getting this person could be emotionally very mature, like, or this person is very, like, this person could have there's a big age difference, like seven, eight years. I get little bigger age difference here. So this person could be quite mature than you. Um, this person could be someone who does something of their own or they have a side thing of their own. Even if they're into a job, they have something of their own. Like 
they like to have a sense of freedom in their life okay um and i'm also getting this feeling that this person could be someone who comes from a background of like they were not given a lot of things when they were younger this person lacked a lot of things like they grew up maybe not financially sound they were not very financially good while growing up uh, or things like that okay uh they had a tough childhood is what i'm getting because this person holds a lot of experience is what i'm getting this person could have gray hair um like this person gives a very old soul vibe okay the kind of feeling i'm channeling with this person <clears throat> i keep seeing fishes like, like see there's a fish here i saw one more while i was rotating the cup fishes are the symbolism of financial abundance i'm also getting this feeling that when you both meet it's going to activate venus uh, element for both of you like you know like uh, when you guys come together your collaboration is going to activate luck when it comes to your venus when it comes to your wealth okay um this is what i'm getting more for most of you i'm on I'm, i'm getting the alphabet c c could be your initial or the initial of your name or your surname or this person's name or surname uh Oh wow I also channel this message that this person is going to be second so for example right now you are single so the next person you meet after that you're going to meet that person so this person is going to be the second one you date from now starting now if you're already now with someone like you started dating someone then i think it's the other one next one which is coming in your life i'm getting second from now so that's the kind of feeling i got i'm getting something about the feet this person could have very large feet I'm seeing very huge feet, you know. This person could be very well height like tall heighted. Uh this person could be very tall. They could have a mole on their face because the kind of image that I'm or the vision I'm getting this person could have a mole a uh, a very significant mole on their face. And this person could be tall heighted. This person has big hands, big feet is the kind of feeling I'm getting, okay? um and this person could be also someone who did not have many partners in the past this person is someone who is who sticks with one thing you know like those people who are like they don't change a lot they're very rigid this person could be an earth sign like taurus capricorn virgo because this person seems to me like a fixed sign energy like little rigid they don't like to change things a lot so they may not have dated a lot of people in the past only one or two or something like that or just one in the past they don't like to change things a lot this person could be little rigid with change this person could travel a lot is what i'm getting like their job is something where they travel a lot or they like to travel a lot could be one of the things let's see the plate now there's not much on the plate okay no there's nothing as such oh i just see here something uh like a 3 hmm okay let's keep it on the side okay uh i'm going to pull you a couple of cards okay so i'm drawn to this deck let's see can we get more details about your spouse details regarding your spouse oh that came out oh wow interesting you got libra energy with justice hmm. justice yeah this person could be into any legal job or something legal or basically this person likes to keep things fair this person could be very you know like 
they don't like to they don't like to take sides they are very honest and fair with their decisions that is oh my god that's a brilliant one i love that energy libra energy is very strong bottom you have the empress libra energy is very strong in your reading 10 of cups and that's amazing pentacle energy is here this is the knight of no sorry this is the page of pentacles wow beautiful how you are going to meet this person can we get little more details on how we are meeting this how you're meeting this person i'm drawn to this card oh that's interesting after shuffling the empress is again here this is so damn interesting uh you got the sun card with this hmm i'm getting a feeling you might meet this person at some kind of like festival festival as in like you know those um trade fair or something like that um like um event you go to or because the empress is here so i feel you will meet this person when you're out and about enjoying in the public so this could be like a event you go to like a food event fashion event whatever that is okay it will be different for everyone so take it that way you will be attending some kind of event you'll be cheerful you'll be enjoying and then you meet this person okay <clears throat> wow ten of swords this is so interesting okay let's take this one nine of pentacles and you have six of cups wow i'm also getting you might meet this person through a mutual friend yeah this could be a mutual friend and since the ten of swords is here so you might be uh like it's like you meet this person when you are just you just came out of a relationship or a situationship or this person just came out of a relationship or situationship like there's a recent ending when you both meet there will be a recent ending and see you're going from ten of swords to ten of cups let me get more characteristics about this person through a different deck okay we are going to see something else give us more about this person wow look at that what am i saying wasp spirit sometimes life stings number 10 is very heavy in your reading number 10 you might be seeing a lot of 10 10 let's take one more this person could be somehow related to education is what i'm getting could be into counseling this person could be someone like a coach mindset coach trainer counselor something like that or related to education in some way wow amazing bad spirit i'm getting a feeling that this person has definitely gone through very tough times it's like they have emerged as a phoenix there is a very strong energy of rebirth and having tough lessons in life with this ten of swords as well this person has definitely seen their part of the bad days this person knows what it takes to build this person is very experienced and has had a lot of hardships okay in their life their life has not been easy the the number of influence the influence of number eight is what i strongly see in this reading this could be for both of you or for one of you um let's do one thing uh what are we gonna do is we are gonna see the specifications with regards to the timing when you're meeting this person okay so first i'm gonna see the month and then uh year or okay like this is something i've written channeled like this is intuitive and this is the specific month of the year okay so let's first take this when are you meeting this person
month we will see okay let's see oh my god within seven months for some of you same year oh my god <laughs> there's a strong energy of meeting whenever you this is a timeless reading so whenever you're watching this video you are the most chances are you're going to meet this person this year itself june oh my god this isn't far man Oh my God. And you remember we saw the sun card. So summer energy is definitely heavy here. Starting March. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Let's keep it here. Now we are going to see. Um, hang on. We are going to see the location of this person. Okay. Let's use the pendulum. So we are going to see. So when it rotates uh, it in circles, we will take it as a yes. And if it rotates sideways, it's a no. All right. So I'm going to, oh my God, sorry. So I'm going to rotate this. Please give me a moment. I'm going to rotate this over every continent and we will see, okay? doing nothing here let's see here <laughs> wow it's covering the whole southern uh, like India, Sri Lanka, Maldives, Pakistan, China, Mongolia, Iran. There are so many. Singapore, um, Vietnam. Oh my God, I'm doing nothing. It's rotating so damn. Yeah, it's actually going towards Ethiopia as well. Yemen, Saudi, Jordan. <sighs> that's a huge one indonesia malaysia thailand myanmar philippines taiwan there are too many now okay let's do it here It's doing nothing. Let's do it here. <laughs> Canada. Canada towards the north, actually. Yeah, majorly it's covering... Uh, Okay, no, that's going sideways. No, 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 it's a no. No, not not Canada, sorry, not this. Let's see anything here, US. US and Mexico. Oh, it's rotating over Mexico. Mexico, US, Costa Rica, <sighs> wow, okay, oh my god, okay, uh, let's take the direction in specific, okay, because it rotated here in the South Asia, so let's take more specific Northeast, Southwest. These are the two directions that I got in specific. Wow. So I think this is where I will leave the message. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do let me know in the comments. I'm going to see you again with another video. Thank you.
Hello, group number two. This is going to be your reading. Let's see details regarding your future spouse. This is interesting. I'm getting a very heavy air sign energy, like the moment I lifted the cup. And I also got the armadillo spirit. So this person could be very strong headed or this person could be someone who is very like who comes across as very cold to people like ice king ice queen energy okay like i'm getting a very strong fire uh, sorry was i saying fire air sign energy let's see i'm getting the number three very strongly for you guys and number 12 hmm, let's see If you notice something, you can take that as a personal message to you. I'm very strongly, again, getting the energy of Gemini. Like, I'm getting this feeling that... Uh, sorry. I'm getting this feeling that this person wears a mask. Like, not in a negative way. Like, I'm getting this feeling that this person wears a mask in the way that um they like to show a cold side to people they like to show or come across as very strong or a very strong personality a strong character but internally they are very kind they are very emotional kind of a being you know like people people might see them see them as very strong very like oh they don't react they don't show emotions they have a straight poker face but um the kind of feeling I'm channeling from this person, this person wears a mask. They don't like to show their real emotions to people very easily. It takes time to get into their good books or to actually get into their space or, you know, get comfortable with them. It takes time. They don't allow everyone to... This person wears a facade for sure. I'm getting this feeling. They like to maintain boundaries, like of strong boundaries with people. They don't easily let anyone come close to them um very strong air sign energy i'm also getting sagittarius to be honest this person could be very spiritual is also one thing that i'm getting like they could have a very spiritual side to them uh they like to dive into occult subjects or deep mysteries studying about you know things like that i'm getting this person has that side to them um this person could also be someone who has this person has very like he, this person has a lot of layers to them because you know i'm getting a feeling whosoever has dealt with this person in the past they always come with uh they're always surprised you know with this person like every time they think oh this is a new person like you know it becomes difficult for people in their life to understand exactly who this person is this person could have many layers to them a uh, very secretive person could be high priestess kind of energy you know very secretive again i'm talking about energy not gender so take that ways i'm getting this energy like um this person could be this person could also be someone who has a very sexy demeanor to them like they have a very seductive voice or they had a very they have a very seductive quality about them this is very that something is very sexy about them you know like there's a seductive demeanor like a sedu seductive underlying thing to their personality um this person could also be someone who likes to maybe they're into music this person could be someone who is a very, who's very creative okay um they're a lot into like cooking or gardening or very creative things you know um yeah i'm getting a very like um I'm glad to see the plate now. Let's see what is up. There is something to do with their dressing sense. Like their dressing sense is really nice or something that stands out. It really pops on them is the kind of feeling I'm getting. I'm also getting like a raven personality. Uh, like a raven, like a... Mm, this person could scare people away like sometimes they come across as scary uh it's the kind of feeling i'm getting mm. oh 
ok I'm also getting this feeling that uh, this person could have some kind of obsession with reptiles or something like that. Like, I don't know, like I'm getting reptiles. Mm. Or they could be very scared of reptiles. Like there could be an extreme here or you could be someone who's scared of reptiles. Hmm. Or you love reptiles. Like there could be an extreme here. Um, let me get some cards. I'm guided to take some cards here. Let's see more about this person's personality. Wow, that quickly came. Oh my God. Wow, this person is very romantic. Um, I'm also getting this feeling like I'm getting that energy of like 50 shades of gray kind of, you know. This person could be very, uh very creative when it comes to expressing love like their romantic gestures could be really creative this would be the kind of person who would like surprise you who would come to surprise you you know by picking up like to pick you up from your office after work and will bring you like a big bouquet of flowers you know this person is very creative when it comes to expressing their romantic gestures is the kind of feeling i'm getting with this person this person is very out of the blue see there's a pig with wings. Pig with wings is not a normal phenomena, right? I feel this person is very out of the blue. You don't know what's coming next from them. And that's the best thing about them. But this is also something that scares people away from them because people don't know what's coming next. Oh, yeah, see, five of wands. I'm also getting this feeling with this message that five of wands... This person could be someone who, you know, the people who don't like to be bothered, but once someone bothers them, once someone, you know, gets under their skin, they're not going to leave them alone. So this person is very like, better don't mess with them kind of energy. Yeah, this person is very protective of their space, as I told you. They're very protective of their energy, their space. They don't like people to be knowing their business. They're really secretive. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Something about their hair is very, I, I stand out, like maybe this person likes to color their hair like different or they carry a big, like if this is a guy, so they like to carry big hair, man bun, big beard, you know, long beard. So I'm getting this person has some kind of obsession with having different hairstyles or having really long bushy hair or something. Something to do with hair is standing out to me. Wow, the empress. Hmm. I'm, I'm definitely getting a lot of sexual energy from this person. This person is a very passionate lover. <laughs> this person is very passionate. Even in the bedroom is what I'm getting. Like They have very amazing creative ways to express their love. Wow, the wheel of fortune. Hmm. Libra energy, Pisces. This person could be Pisces or could have heavy Pisces placements. This person could be someone who might have had a background of addiction is what I'm getting. Maybe this person has now recovered, but maybe they have a past of addiction, like something they were addicted to, substances or something. Or they could have had um, some trouble with the police or something like that I'm getting. This person could have a bad past. Or you might have had. Let's get some... Wait. Let's get more about this person's... Okay, let's see how you're going to meet this person. If we can get any hint how you're going to... Oh my god. This is what exactly the F I told you. The raven personality and someone who comes across as the ice king or the ice queen. Someone who appears very blunt, very cold-headed. This is exactly the personality I told you of this person. I'm also getting this person. You might meet this person when you're out and about exploring or traveling. Like on a trek, like on a trip. Uh, you might meet this person when you're traveling is what I'm getting. Or um, you might actually end up meeting this person in a very casual way. Like you're, say, for example, you're at the grocery store, okay? Or something like that, what I'm getting. 
Hmm. Anything more? How you're gonna meet this person? Yeah, I'm getting you're gonna meet this person in a very isolated way. Yeah. Either through work, because Eight of Pentacles is here, so work, or maybe you're out and about exploring something, like you're on a solo trip, this person is also on a solo trip. I'm getting in an excluded way. For many of you, this could actually be your business client, or you are their business client, could be through work. Okay, uh, let's... No, there are too many. Let's take an animal spirit to get more on their personality. Then we are going to see the location, okay? Okay, let's see. Are you, brother, are you kidding me? Like, I told you this. Wow, raven, white raven spirit, trust in the magic number 66. I told you exactly this is what I'm talking about. And this is like confirming my intuition again and again starfish spirit open to infinite possibility this person is this person is definitely someone into a lot of mysterious stuff like you know they like to read about the mystery universe you know things things like that occult sciences getting you know d d uh, diving deep into those kind of concepts this this person is very much tuned into source this person could definitely be someone um who is very much tuned into source, spirit realm, or things like that, all right? Wow, number six could be something you might be seeing a lot. Now let's get something here with the timing, okay? So this is something which I have intuitively channeled and written. So first we will see that. And this is with the tea leaf. Um, specific month let's get the specific month here okay so month we have december wow winter season is standing out december and february oh 2024 within 15 months so these are the timings that came out okay that's interesting Let's see the location now. So we are going to use the uh, pendulum. So if it rotates in circles, it's a yes. If it rotates sideways, then no. Or if it doesn't move at all, then again, no. Let's start here. I'm going to start with this. Hmm. So definitely Canada, western part of Canada. <sighs> hmm. Alaska, Canada. Wow, this is where it's rotating. All right, so let's see here now. Wait. No, it's not moving. Sorry, let's do here now. Nope, let's do here. Sweden, Germany, France, Poland, UK, Ireland, France, Portugal, Spain, Italy, Greece, Turkey, Bulgaria, Romania, Ukraine, uh, sorry, okay, Norway, um, Morocco, Tuni Tunisia, Algeria, Libya, wow, there are so many here, <laughs> okay, this whole reg region, Portugal, mm. okay, all right, let's see here, all 
I'm guided to put here. Okay, let's see. Australia, why am I guided to put here? Australia. Hmm. Let's see here, New Zealand. Nope. Let's see the bigger continent here. What's up? nope let's see the directions okay i've also written so wherever it went circles i'm going more specific with the direction in that continent let's take this south southeast oh that's very specific so these are the directions okay so group number two this is gonna be a reading uh thank you so much for being here with me i'm gonna see you again bye bye hello group number three this is gonna be a reading so first things first in your case i ended up like by mistake i ended up pouring a lot of tea you can already see there's a lot of tea that i ended up spilling in your cup and it was all over overflowing and this is so interesting uh, i just now noticed this like my eyes went to this flower and it gave me the it gave me the vision of blue lotus so i'm getting a feeling that there's something very significant very significant when it comes to a past life reconnection with this spouse that i'm going to channel messages about um it's as if you know this is one of the biggest or higher purposes of your lifetime like this lifetime to unite with this person because the un the this union carries a much more higher significance for the collective as well your union is going to actually uplift a lot of other souls in this realm or in this lifetime there's a bigger purpose to you both guys union so let's wow this is stuck here ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Oh, wow. I take that as a sign that um, <laughs> this is so interesting. I take that as a sign that, you know, uh, you are going to meet this person in a very secretive way. And this is something which you both are not going to see coming. Like, it's very secretive. And there is some higher purpose because there is there's a reason it's not revealing me let me try again i'm not i don't want to force this but hey mm. wow there's a much bigger purpose of you know you guys coming together oh, that's interesting yeah there's there's so much spilled outside like wow you guys are very protected huh you have very strong energies around you wow i didn't see that coming i'm very strongly channeling the energy of dragons as well fire energy is very strong hmm. if there is something that catches your eye feel free to take that as a message for yourself i'm gonna zoom a little bit so that it becomes easy for you to check hmm. This is definitely giving me the image of a dragon here. Wow, that's a big one. <laughs> oh my god, that's a freaking huge one. Dragon. <sighs> what is that? I'm getting the alphabet K. Hmm. I'm also getting this feeling something is shielding you, both of you, right now. Like, 
there is a barrier between you both guys right now and it has some bigger spiritual significance you're not supposed to like i'm getting this feeling that the timing is gonna be very significant when you guys come together i'm also getting the number 42 so i don't know what that means number 42 and i'm getting this um wait this is something huh When I'm looking here at the bottom, I got the image of a theater, like a movie theater. Maybe a meeting at a theater or something. Or there is something very significant regarding a movie. Like your, your, your both guys, your story is gonna be something like a movie like very like and i'm also getting the reference of the beauty and the beast for some reason wow this is interesting hmm. like something is very movie like very very unusual very movie like like you know um sci-fi movie kind of thing Like, the way you meet this person is gonna be so movie-like. You'll be like, what? Like, you know? Um, something keeps drawing me again and again outside the cup. Peacock. This is like a peacock, right? Hmm. Something, because peacock is a very divine kind of animal. It's seen as a very... It's, it's given such a huge significance in like Vedic scriptures. Peacock is very like seen as very divine, um, very auspicious. So I'm getting this feeling that um, this the, the energy I keep seeing is of like earth angels, indigo children, you know, like uh, there is a higher purpose of both of you guys. Like, and especially your union is going to, Take, take that to the next level. You could be someone who is very psychically gifted or you could be someone who sees or who can astral travel. Um, you're very connected to the other side or you could be someone who can see, you get weird visions. Okay, I won't use the word weird, but you might get, you could be someone who's very tuned into other realms. Um, this is so interesting, actually. Let's see what is here. They are not willing to show me a lot. I'm not seeing a lot of things. Um, it's it's like it's supposed to be a secret. It's supposed to be coming as a big surprise, or it's supposed to be like it's 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 giving me a feeling as if it's you both. It's your thing. No one is supposed to get into it. You know, like the energy seems little blocked when I'm trying to dive in and find messages. So this gives me a feeling that not. Everyone is supposed to know about your union or not everyone is supposed to know how you're meeting or a lot about you guys. It's supposed to be a secret, okay? I'm getting the vision of big trees and plants and stuff like that, okay? So you might meet this person... Uh, you might end up meeting this person like at a, uh, maybe like, you know, how to say those local healing, like, a, like, you know, those places where they use natural ways to heal or like spa or something like that. So you might end up meeting this person at a place like that. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. They're not willing to show me a lot. Okay, uh, let's use... I was guided to use this deck for you. So let's see. What can we get? Okay, we already have one card. This is so interesting. You have the spider with eight of pentacles. Spider represents creative energy. Hmm. Tapping into your creative side. Hmm. This person could be into like yoga, tai chi. Uh, this person, the energy that I'm very strongly channeling is of like an alchemist. A person who understands how to 
mold emotions into powerful energy a uh, person who can who is a very good manifester a person who knows how to mold energy emotions this person is a very powerful alchemist is what i'm getting hmm uh yeah this person could be into like yoga practices tai chi or some kind of you know um this is so interesting or some kind of old forms of you know like some old form of uh like karate what is that all i forgot father of pentacles the king of pentacles wow this is a very strong personality hmm. what am i saying the hermit this person is um someone who does who has either done a lot of soul searching in their life or this person is someone who is like a hermit of course like a yogi i'm getting a very yogi kind of vibe you know like a yogi like a like a monk kind i'm not saying this person is a monk but that's the kind of feeling i keep channeling with this person hmm. very grounded in their energy oh that came out again virgo earth sign is heavy definitely this person could also be into some kind of hand crafting i saw the images of hands like this person could be someone who makes jewelry by hands could make some kind of uh, they could they could be into some kind of craftsmanship like they make ba like they make bamboo utensils or bamboo arty crafts handmade paintings concrete paintings like i'm getting hand craftsmanship so this person could be into something like that pottery or something like that okay um let's see if we can get any details regarding this person I'm seeing a bad weather in my vision. So maybe you will meet. When you meet this person, there is bad weather. Like thunderstorm or something. Oh my god. This is so interesting. How are you going to meet this person? I'm also getting that something about their look, especially eyes, will let you know that, yeah, this is the one. Something about their stare yeah this is such a strong personality this person is very much connected to their dark side as well is what i'm getting by seeing this horse because horse is also many times connected to the guhya kali the one form of kali which is associated with dark horses horses are also connected to hades so i'm getting this person is very tuned into their dark side as well and i get a feeling when you see this person you will automatically know it will be such a big huge click something about their eyes will speak to you let's take some more cards from the animal spirit to see the uh this person's characteristics this one my god what am i talking about lion spirit 37 seahorse spirit 53 and you have mouse 40 wow I'm also getting this feeling that um, after seeing these cards, this person could appear very simple. Like in their looks, in their appearance, they could appear very simple. Like people many a times can underestimate them, but they are very powerful. This person is a very strong personality, very, very powerful when it comes to their dark side. But this person, when you look at them, they look very harmless. They look very innocent. They look very, mm, like, they can't do any harm to you, but they have a very strong side to them. Wow. A very powerful archetype. Let's do one thing. Let's um, see the timing around when you can expect to meet this person. So this is something I've intuitively channeled. I'm going to use them this is more specific with the months i'm going to take one more okay wow uh you're getting within 15 months 
and this is something i channel so maybe you will meet this person when you turn 35 or like between 35 to 37 years of your age or this person could be between 35 to 37 years of age then you'll meet okay you got march september <laughs> wow something regarding fall is significant here october the fall season definitely okay let's see the location now okay let's use the location so if it goes in circle it's a yes if it if it goes in sideways it's a no okay and if it doesn't move at all then of course it's a no let's start from here i'm glad to start from this side no let's see new zealand hmm, new zealand okay let's see here no let's see here mm -mm, no <laughs> anything here this is so interesting very specific huh let's see here Denmark, it's very strongly moving on Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Sweden uh, Poland, Germany. Hmm. Let's see here. Nothing here. Okay, let's see here. nope nothing here as well <laughs> let's see on us and this no okay let's see canada now wow it's mostly getting covered on like very cold regions it's it's actually covering a lot of north area oh wow that's a big circle that's a very strong yes so whichever continent it moved uh we will see this direction to be specific okay Oh, it already came out. I'm going to take one more here. East, Southeast, Southwest. All right. Um, so group number three, this is where I'll leave you with the reading. I hope you guys enjoyed and do let me know how you feel about the reading. Thank you so much for staying with me till the end and I'm going to see you again with another video on my channel. Bye-bye and take care of yourselves.